Let's play some PlayStation 4 emulation on the Steam Deck Steam OS. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's talk about the PlayStation 4 emulation on Steam Deck Steam OS. Okay, and I'm going to use an emulator called FPPS4. I think this is the first emulator to run commercial games. Okay, and I did check it out back uh, when it came out. It's been out for a while now, um, and I've checked it out on the PC with Windows. Um, and then I tried to run it on Steam Deck, Steam OS uh, with Proton, but it didn't work back then. But now, someone's created a launcher that um, works with Linux. So I could get it to work now. I'll show you how to install it later in the video. Okay, so make sure I've only got like Sonic Mania right now. Um, so this emulator runs like 2D games right now only. Like don't expect any 3D games. There's a compatibility list I'll show you um, later as well. Okay, uh, it's very early for PlayStation 4 emulation. So, you know, set your expectations right. Okay, so make sure here, select gamepad mode. Select X input because we're using the Steam Deck controls. Okay, and I'm gonna run it. And um like yeah, this is more of a proof of concept because yeah, I don't think many people will play these 2D games with like PlayStation 4 emulation on the Steam Deck. But um yeah, imagine like maybe a few years, 10 years down the line. I'm pretty sure like Maybe the Steam Deck 3, maybe that will be a powerful uh, gaming handheld. And this uh, this emulator might have matured and, you know, more compatible games are working, 3D games. You'd want a powerful system to run and working on Linux as well. That'd be great, right? Imagine that. And I'm pretty sure that will happen because like the gaming handheld scene is really blowing up. You can see like all these companies uh, making gaming handheld devices. So more money is going in and that money is going to go into R&D. That's going to speed up the like the R&D for mobile chips. So they're going to get more powerful, more battery, more power efficient, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm really excited for the future. So the latest uh, company to join the gaming handheld is MSI with the Claw. I don't think I'm going to buy that, but uh, yeah, hopefully they get a successful launch. I think my friend um, Deck Wizard, he, he's ordered one. He's, he's going to get it. He told me he's going to get it tomorrow. So if you want to see some MSI Claw videos, go check out his channel. Okay, I think I've I've got the Lenovo Legion Go. I think that's enough for me for Windows uh, gaming handheld. Yeah, I don't need too many. All right, so I think that's enough demonstration. Let's go to my desktop mode and I'll show you how to install this. See you back in desktop mode. Welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. So the method that I'm going to show you, I didn't figure this out. Like I said, back in the day, I did try to install the Windows version onto the Steam OS with um, Proton and it didn't work and I kind of just left it there. But recently I stumbled across this video. So shout out to you. I think his channel's name's called Edit, ED4T. I'm just going to call you Edit. Okay, um, so thank you for showing me that it's possible to install this emulator on Steam OS. Um, I've supported him. Okay, I subscribed and clicked the bell button and hit the like button as well. So I think you should do that too. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. You can go over there and also like leave a comment. Tell him that I sent you over. Okay, so there's three files that you need to download. I'll also link them in the description. The first one, you go to this GitHub page, FPPS4, Tammy's Launcher. Scroll down a little bit. You see this Linux part? Okay, you need to download this. Download clone this repo. Okay, you get this um, FPPS4 Tammy launcher. And then you also need this nw.js. So click on it. Okay. And then there's another GitHub page for uh, this package editor. Okay, so download this package editor and then the version number.zip. 
So depending on when you're watching this video, the version might be different, but you need this package editor.zip. Okay, so totally three files. Okay, locate them. Go to your downloads folder. Should be inside your downloads folder. And yeah, there's one of these is still downloading. So let's just wait for it to finish downloading. In the meantime, if you haven't already, please hit the like button for this video. It really helps out the channel. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Yeah, we talk a lot about gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck. And I do also have a Lenovo Legion Go, so I will do content for Windows Gaming Handout as well. We talk a lot about emulation, trainers, mods, cheats, stuff like that. And also how to install like, Windows games onto the Steam OS. That's something I like to do. So if that's you know something you're interested in, please subscribe to the channel. Okay, so we're still downloading. Okay, we have a minute left. Okay, so the first thing you need to do once you've downloaded these three files, you need this one first, the FPPS4 Tammy's Launcher, main.zip. Right click it and then extract archive here. You should get this folder. Okay, and then I'm going to open it in another tab because we need it later. And see, see inside here, you've got this NWJS folder. Go inside it, it's empty. You've only got this like hidden file. Dot Get keep. Okay, and we need to wait for this to finish downloading. I'm going to extract all that content inside there. Okay, so right click this, also the NWJS. Okay, extract here. Okay, you've got a new folder. Okay, we're going to select all of this inside the folder and move it over. Move it over to the FPPS4 Tammy's launcher.main and then inside the NWJS folder. So just move it all here. Okay. Now we can delete this folder. Uh, we don't need the zip. We don't need this zip. Okay. That's it. And now you need to have Lutris. So if you don't have Lutris, go here to your Discover Software Center. And then in the search bar, type Lutris. And you should see this um, orange beaver icon thing. Install it. Okay. I already have mine installed. So I'm just going to launch it. And you should see something like this. And the top left corner, there's a plus button. Add game. So click on it. Then here, add locally installed game. Okay, I want to give it a name. I'm going to call it FPPS4. And then runner, I'm going to select wine, runs Windows games. And then go to the next tab, game options, under executable, click the three dots. I'm going to select the FPPS4 Temi's launcher main folder. And then select launcher.bat. Okay, and then we want to give it a wine prefix directory. You want to like know where the prefix folder is. Normally I put my prefix folders inside the documents folder and then I created a folder called prefix. And then I'm just going to create a new folder called F FPPS4. Okay, this is pretty old one. I don't want this. I'm going to delete it. Okay. And I'm going to select it. So wine prefix, I'm going to select the folder that I just created. So documents, prefix, FPPS4. Okay. And then under runner options, make sure the wine version, it's a wine. I'm going to use wine GE 826. I think you can use other wine versions, but yeah, this is the one I'm using. If you want to use the exact same one as me, all right, let's just save it first. And you don't have it there. You can go inside your Lutris. On the left hand side, there's something here called wine. And then you click here, manage versions. And you can download different versions of wine, GE. Right. A lot of people ask me that. Okay, so now select the FPPS4, right click it. And then I'm going to create a Steam shortcut. So here, create Steam shortcut. Click on it. 
And then if you go to your Steam, it doesn't show up immediately. You have to like refresh your Steam. So if you go here, yeah, F, I don't have it. I don't have it. So you need to quit out of Steam. So go to your Steam icon, right click it, exit Steam. Make sure this icon is gone completely. That means it's totally shut down the app like, like this. Okay. Now we can open up Steam again and we should see the shortcut. Okay. Library. And then here it is FPPS4. Okay. Just click play and it should generate the prefix folder. And it's trying to load the emulator. So let it do that. Be patient. Okay, so here, first time running it, click OK. And then I think it updates. Yep, it wants to update. So click OK, let it do its thing. Let's go download and update. So make sure you have an internet connection if you want to update. It's going to take a while. I've got pretty bad reception in this room. Okay, it's done. Okay, once it's done, we can exit out of it. Exit. Okay. And then go back to your downloads folder. And then this package editor, we want to extract it, but don't extract it here. Extract here auto detect subfolder. Because this doesn't have a subfolder inside the zip. So you want to have this subfolder. Okay, and then you got this package editor.exe, right click it, add to Steam. Okay, open up your Steam. And we should have it here. All right, right, it's right here. Package editor. Go to manage properties, compatibility, and then we're gonna force the compatibility tool to Proton Experimental. Okay, and then click play. And it's gonna load up. Be patient here. Okay, now the package editor is loaded. Click on file and then open. And we're going to locate our game. So get your game ready. I've got my game here in download Sonic Mania. It's a PKG file. So I'm going to go into home, deck, downloads, and then Sonic Mania. And I'm going to use the latest version, which is 1.01, this one. Okay, we want the title of copy it. Okay. And then go back to your um, FPPS4 folder. And then inside there's a games folder. Right click it, new, create a new folder and use the title of the game. So Sonic Mania. Okay, and then here, you've got this export to GP4 project. Click on it then locate that folder that we just created. So mine's here in um, Home, Deck, Downloads, then Sonic Mania. Oh no, not Sonic Mania. Sorry, uh, FPPS4, then Games, Sonic Mania. All right, and then I'm just going to click Save. And you've got to wait. All right, it feels like nothing's happening. Just be patient, don't panic. Like I always do when you click on something and nothing's happening on the screen, you kind of panic a bit. All right, so PKG exported. Okay, so we're done. We can close it, close it. Okay, now I'm just gonna go to um, big picture mode. It's kind of like gaming mode, it's the same. I just don't want to reboot into gaming mode. So it's basically the same. All right, now, when you're in gaming mode, open up FPPS4, click play, and you should be able to load into the emulator like this. And you can see Sonic Mania is here. Oh, this is not like gaming mode. All right, maybe we do need to go to gaming mode. So, yeah, okay, let's go to gaming mode. Let's not be lazy. So exit picture mode, go to gaming mode. So I'll see you in gaming mode. Okay, so in gaming mode, if you want to make it look pretty with a like 
nice artwork. Make sure you have Decky Loader. Like, I'll leave a link in the description. You need a plugin called Steam Grid DB. I, like, if I press start, I don't have it right now. You need to do it again. Press start again. You can see here I've got change artwork. Okay, it won't find FPPS4, but if I go here and search for like PlayStation 4. Okay, I can select PlayStation 4 and I can get some capsules. So I can make it look nice. Something like this. Okay. See that? Look nice. Okay. So let's load into it. Let's load into it and we should be able to open the emulator. And like, you can't really use the controls here. So what I normally do is I hold the steam button and then I use the right touchpad as a mouse. Okay, like this. And then you go to Sonic Mania and then you use the um, R2 button as the left mouse click. Okay, so like I said before, select gamepad mode, make sure it's X input and then you just click run FPPPS4. And it's going to be exactly the same as the start of this video. So that's how you install it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So see you guys in the next one. Later.